Here is one of our very first unboxing videos. It's actually not unboxing, it's unenveloping. <laughs> it's one of those plastic envelopes that Amazon tends to use all the time. Everything I order comes in those boxes, or envelopes rather. <laughs> and here it is, how can they fit 10 grow bags in a small little container? Well, here's the answer. It's vacuum packed and secured with a nylon string. It took a <laughs> razor knife to be able to get it out. <clears throat> and uh, here comes Toby. Whoop, watch your nose, Toby, around that knife. Got to be very careful. Well, as it wound up, he didn't get cut, and I didn't happen to damage any of the bags getting it out with the razor knife at all. But I highly recommend these Guard Zen 10 gallon grow bags from Amazon. And you get 10 bags for $24.99. And when you add in the tax, it works out to be about $2.60 a bag. A pretty good deal. And I used them last year, and I thought they were a little more expensive, so the price might have come down. Uh, but I could be mistaken. I'm not real sure. But I was told that they are BPA-free and also AZO-free, which is a plus for us organic gardeners. And here's one of the bags unfolded, and it is a thick felt-like material that's sewn real well. You can see how thick it is, and very durable. Those handles are sewn on, and you wonder how the heck can 10 gallons of grow soil fit in those bags, but they absolutely do. And I emptied two of the Lowe's plastic buckets, five gallons each, in there, and it does take 10 gallons of garden fertilizer, and I'm sorry, <laughs> 10 gallons of garden soil, without a doubt. <clears throat> and uh, those handles are real durable, and I've carried a lot of wet soil on these things, and they set out all winter long, uh, not these bags, but the ones that I had in the garden last year. And real impressed with them. Uh, you do have to keep them watered because the black color, they do tend to dry out. But as long as you use 50% of a garden type soil and potting soil with peat moss, it keeps the drying down to a minimum. And uh, it enables the success of your vegetables and flowers uh, by keeping a lot of moisture within the pot itself. And then a little later on, you'll see how I set them in my garden. And like I said, for uh, <clears throat> $24, make it 25 bucks, this is a great deal. And I would advise anybody to go out and buy these if you have limited space. And there it is there. Guard Zen, $24.99, and that's exactly the ad that you'll see on Amazon. And uh, <clears throat> you better get them early because same as last year, I know that I ordered them first and then they disappeared.
Now simply fill these up to the top, about two inches down. And as you can see, the handles are extremely durable, which is good. <laughs> they should be. And uh, here's an important step. If you have stones down, just rake them back as I have. And uh, it's an important step. It uh, keeps the water from draining out too readily because the stones will actually leave a lot of gaps underneath the bag and a lot of that excess moisture will just damp out. So this way, by raking the stones back, it's in direct contact with the ground and it will keep the moisture in a little longer. And also uh, aid in cooling or warming the bags. Not that you need warming <laughs> with those bags because uh, the uh, uh, color of the bag attracts the sunlight and the heat. So these things are gonna stay a lot warmer. They're great for tomatoes on the patio uh, or what have you. Uh, and here's um, uh, here I'm sticking in a bamboo steak and uh, packing it in. Uh, I'm gonna be putting a pepper plant, actually a double pepper plant in. And I always like to double up on my peppers. You can actually fit two to three in a small space. You don't have to worry about thinking that they're crowded. <clears throat> yeah, peppers actually like to be crowded somewhat. And we'll uh, show you this as it progresses later in the season. And my trusty garden trowel, which uh, <laughs> goes missing an awful lot. Seems like everybody in the household likes to use it. And then of course you gotta soak it down heavily for the first time. The garden soil was somewhat moist. The potting mix always takes a lot of extra water and we're expecting rain. And in fact, after this video was uh, completed filming, it started raining. And there you have it, the first pepper plant of the season transplanted from the seedlings that we started. Uh, in our very first grow video and happily in the, the garden and hopefully we'll get a lot of bell peppers off of that and here is uh, one of the older grow bags this is actually from last year I put some more bone meal and blood meal and mixed it up and the funny thing is and you wouldn't expect this to happen but there were worms in there. How the heck do worms climb up the side of that thing and get inside? I, I'm not sure, but um, you'll see a, a quick video in a minute or two <laughs> what the video, yeah, what the uh, container looked like with a bunch of worms. Uh, as soon as I lifted this container off of the other one, <laughs> the worm shot in the hole, but I managed to get a video of it. There it is there. And you can catch a couple of worms there. <laughs> oh, it's funny how they can get up a side of a bag. It's a mystery how they get in there, but uh, those things are sneaky. And there's no holes in the bottom of the bag other than uh, real small little pores that they couldn't get in. So how they got in there, I don't know. I guess they had to climb in there. But you see, I rake back the stones. And uh, these are going to have melons in them. And the melons I train on the fence and... Uh, I wish I had taken a picture last year of all the melons I had. Thank you. 